The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Western University. Canadians facing addiction and mental health issues face an uncertain future. Physical distancing and self-isolation measures mean cancelled in-person Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous meetings, no more face-to-face counselling, and some homeless shelters have closed their doors to reduce the COVID-19 spread. Casey Van Hedger points out that we are in a highly unpredictable situation with little control over our surroundings. Both are going to contribute to rising stress levels, anxiety, and depression. Combine this with increased isolation from physical distancing, daily life stresses, and no access to typical coping mechanisms. For many, this can lead to relapse. And if not a relapse, then people in recovery might be dealing with negative emotions. Hedger, a Western University Brain and Mind Institute researcher, studies substance use and substance use disorders. So how do you deal with this? Take advantage of helplines offered by provincial governments. Remain socially connected. Get online. For example, some AA meetings hold virtual gatherings. For those without access to technology, reach out to your loved ones, friends and support via phone. Hedger suggests keep things simple, identify and focus on what works and take it one day at a time. This story was adapted from Maggie McClellan's Western News article, Isolation Stress Can Test Those With Addictions.